Hey guys, today I want to talk about the phrase, choose happy. I've been thinking a lot about the idea of being happy, particularly on the heels of a client work trip that took me to Pennsylvania and Michigan for the last six days. Two places where I have a lot of childhood, miserable memories and not a lot of happy ones. (laughs) Have you looked up the word happy? Like really, in a dictionary? I looked it up recently, and it's feeling or showing pleasure or contentment. Now, I read that, and I was like, yeah, that's not what I'm going for. So then I looked at the synonyms. Here are a few of my favorites. Radiant, joyful, carefree, untroubled, over the moon. Those sounded more like where I'm trying to go with this podcast. So keep those in mind as we talk about today's topic. A few years ago, it made me absolutely happy to get a break from my family while I was away photographing other people's families. Recently, not so much. So late last year, I made the decision to stop advertising travel sessions and only do them for existing clients. I went back and forth on making this announcement, guys. I mean, I wrote it up and then I deleted it and I had it sitting in my little notes app. But I can definitely say now that I'm back from six days away from my family, that was absolutely the right decision. I want everyone to ask themselves these four questions. Are your offers still making you happy? Are you paying yourself a salary that makes you happy? Are you working with clients that make you happy? And are you happy with the amount of work you are currently doing? Now, guys, if you can't say yes to all four questions, it's time to make a plan because you can totally be happy with your offer, but not getting clients that you like working with. You can totally be happy with your offer, but unhappy with the number of hours that you are spending providing that offer to different clients. Do you see where I'm going? You need to have a yes to all four questions in order to build a balanced business for yourself. And I definitely realize that it's a place of privilege for me to tell you if you're making the money that you want, but it's not making you happy, you should still make changes because a lot of us struggle to say no to money. I know I'm one of those people. Like if someone is willing to pay you thousands of dollars for a service, I may just suck it up and do it, right? No, (laughs) you shouldn't just suck it up and do it. Because if you end up doing that over and over and over again, you are limiting yourself to not being able to find and build a business that would actually make you happy long term. So once again, if you can't say yes to all four questions, I think it's time to think about making a plan because where you are in your business today isn't where you have to stay. You get to change your mind. You are the boss. You get to decide who you're going to work with, what they're going to pay you, what service you're going to provide. These are all questions that you get to decide. Most of you know me as an in-home documentary family photographer. But guys, when I first went to open my photography business, I planned to offer senior sessions, so high school seniors, and then posed newborn sessions. (laughs) Because when I started learning photography, anything related to not having to get a child to sit down and be still and smile for the camera sounded like absolute heaven to me. Can you guys imagine me saying that? (laughs) I mean, I do the exact opposite now. I don't care what the children are. I capture their joy doing whatever they love doing. But the fact that I started this business thinking that I wanted to do the one thing, and then for my entire career, I've offered the exact opposite, is a true testament to the fact that you should figure out what makes you happy. And just because something is profitable, just because something is easy to do, doesn't necessarily mean that is the service that you should offer to your clients. Because guys, life is way too short to sit in misery for too long. If you built your business on an offer that seemed like it was the thing that was going to make you happy and the most profitable, 
and a few years later you decide it doesn't make you happy, do something else. Are you ready to start thinking about making changes in your own business? Well, first of all, if you haven't listened to episode one of this podcast where I talk about doing an offer audit, go back and listen to that. If you haven't listened to episode two, where I had guest Brittany Janine on, who told us about the three types of pivots that you can do in your business, if you are not happy, go back and listen to that episode. And then I want everyone to schedule one hour on your calendar to really think about what is currently making you happy and unhappy in your business right now. What do you want to spend your time doing and what is currently taking up too much of your time? Who is your absolute favorite client that you've worked with? And who would you never want to work with again? What offers are you excited about completing? And which ones do you dread so much that you avoid and you procrastinate completing the service? You'll use this list to think about changes that you could make in your business going forward. Do you need to reevaluate your prices? Do you need to outsource? Do you need to change your marketing strategy? Do you need to change how much you are working and when? But guys, I'm not telling everyone to run out and just immediately make changes. I think that a lot of us skip from being unhappy to immediately modifying without taking an appropriate amount of time to just sit down and brainstorm. So that is what I want you to do after today's episode. Sit down, blank piece of paper a little bit of music going, maybe another podcast, and figure out what is currently working for you in your business and what is making you happy. That's it for this episode, guys. Thanks.